Bull nose steering for plastic vinyl plank. Couldn't find many videos on how to do this and I struggled with it myself for a minute. So uh, all you need is, uh, I got a piece of bull nose stair tread from Lowe's. Grabbed a scrap two by four. Cut a chunk out of it so your flooring will slide in there. You want it pretty tight. You don't want it sloppy. Otherwise, when you bend your flooring, it'll spread apart. So you want it pretty snug. Build that jig. It's simple. No special tools. Just screws holding it together. I'm using a Wagner heat gun. Cordless heat guns are way too slow. I tried my Milwaukee. I'd recommend buying one of these. It's like 30 or $40 from Lowe's. But uh, I'll show you guys how this works. It's a slow process, but I could not find bull nose stair caps for the stain master flooring I have. This is my flooring. You gotta peel off the foam on the bottom if you have it. So glue will stick. So do that. And I also cut mine down to length or close to length ahead of time. Then you don't have to bend as much. But this is all you have to do. Slide that in there. There is some wiggle room, but if, I, if it's any tighter, it's tough to get them out, but just a little bit of slop. So it sits in there and I'm not gonna film the whole process, but all you do is heat it until you can bend it. Go across, go up a little bit. It's pretty simple, but it takes five to 10 minutes and you don't wanna get it too hot, otherwise you'll destroy the side you see. But after I get it warm, I'll show you guys the bending process. I got this warm. You don't want to get it too hot, so keep feeling it. But I start the bend off like this. Just pull it down. And usually I have to heat it a little bit more at this point on the outside. But I'll grab my board and get the clamp started. Kind of go back and forth with them. Heat it a little bit more. You want to be careful on the outside. It's pretty easy to mess up the uh, part you're going to see. So go fast. Don't get a lot of heat on it. It'll burn. Usually doesn't take much. Squeeze it down some more. Then I 
get a clamp like this that can squeeze a little tighter. And this will suck it all the way down. Those clamps will probably fall off, but you'll put them back on. Kind of tighten it all as you go. That is it after it is bent. Let it sit for probably five, 10 minutes. I'd say it takes about a half hour per tread. I had to do 11, I'd say it took at least five hours. But yes, it's simple. It doesn't require any fancy tools. The heat gun's cheap. There's no point in buying a fancy heat gun. They sell $100 ones, but you do not need that. Just some clamps and a saw, screw gun. That's about the only option if you want to do your stairs with this stuff. It's not the perfect bend, but good enough for me. A couple things I learned on the way. If you're flooring, I'd say if it's less than 50 degrees, you're going to want to put it in your house to warm up. If you try to bend it, this will happen. Parts will break off like that. It won't bend nicely. It'll tear. See that bend is uneven. And uh, another example is this one. It's hardly bent, but it started tearing right away. So I'll get them, get them up to room temperature.